Whoa, wrong intro. Sorry about that. That's better. Hey everyone, it's me, Matt Finish, and today I'll be doing 20 question drag tag. Uh, let's just get started. Question one, where do you live? I live in Golden State, home of the poppy flower, I, I think, yeah, of the poppy flower, California. Question number two, how old are you? I am 13, my birthday's on October 15th. Question number three, what is your favorite song to lip sync? And I don't really lip sync, but if I would lip sync, it would be uh, Melanie Martinez K, Pity Party, Sissy That Walk by RuPaul. Question number four. What got you interested in drag? What really attracted me? How you could change your entire physical features just with makeup. What really attracted me was like the prettiness of it. All that was really sort of gravitating. Question number five. Biggest drag inspiration. My biggest drag inspiration, I would say, is. I guess behavior wise, I try to emulate a bit of RuPaul's like professional um, side. Question number six. If your drag style was a movie, what movie would it be? I feel like Planet Terror. Uh, there's this one scene in that movie where this Alicia strip has no leg and she's fighting off zombies and she's using a gun as her prosthetic leg and she's like spinning around and shooting them and I. Oh. That's Matt. Question number seven. If you could pick any girls from Drag Race to be friends with, who would you pick? I feel like I really could get along with Adore. Kimchi. I really like kimchi. Describe your drag style in three words. Matt may have finished. Question number nine. If you weren't doing drag, what would you be doing? Past and present tense. Past, I would probably just be frustrated and like not know what to do besides draw. To like have my artistic um, future tense, I just go. Question number 10. What kind of drag do you admire that you don't do yourself? I would say Club Kids. I really love the way Club Kids do their makeup. They have that shop back in them. Question number 11. Top 3 drag essentials. Foundation. You need a good foundation to cover up that man. Black eyeliner and lashes. Because you could do your face with black eyeliner. You could do your lips with black eyeliner. You could do your eyeliner with black eyeliner. You're never and lashes. Stop. Question number 12. What would your drag house be like? Gingerbread house. It'd just be a lot of different types of drag. Question number 13. If you were the baby of two drag queens, who would they be? Mama number one, Brenda LaCrampe, and the second one would be Kimchi. Question number 14. Favorite and least favorite parts of getting into drag? My favorite part? Decorate. And I get to like do my eye, lips. And my least favorite part, I would say, is doing the eyebrows. Question number 15. Have you ever had a different drag name? And yes, I have. I went by Ray for a good while in my fetus drag days. Ray Ray was one of them. And then, you know, Matt Finish came along, and then Mama Mayhem, Daisy Mayhem, blessed me with the house, with the family name of Mayhem, so my full name is Matt Mayhem Finish now. Question number 16. What should a queen always keep in their bag? A knife. Question number 17. Who would you wish your drag mother is? And Daisy, if you're watching this, don't get offended. My love you. You're the best drag mom of Baby queen like me could ever ask for. I would say... Ben Lua. Question number 18. How did you develop your drag character? And I didn't really develop a drag character. It just... Matt... It's just a way more exaggerated than the guy I'm in. Yeah, I'm just like an amplified version of myself. Question number 19. What about drag appeals to you the most? And it's really just... That you can be an entirely different person. It's weird how makeup wig and dress can do this to you. Question number 20. What does being a queen mean to you? And it's really just about letting all your artistic ability roam free, your, all your imagination come to life, and it's just expressing yourself. RuPaul said it in a quote in a BuzzFeed video, and he said, drag doesn't hide who you actually are. It reveals who we actually are. And that's very true. Thank you so much for watching this video. It would mean a bunch. Like, it would mean, like, a lot if you subscribe to my channel um i'm also on instagram so i'll see if i can put a link down there and i wanted to give a quick shout out to my friend to my friend fancy fox um she has her own youtube channel so i'll link that in the description bar as well and i want to thank acid and the galactic collective for letting me um do this tag uh as a past 
Collective Queen. I will see you guys soon. DragCon is coming up, so expect some videos for them. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Do 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 do